Let me ask you a question. What is the most important question a person has ever asked you? On my first date, the most important question ever asked to me was my wife to be saying, how many kids do you want to have? I said, now? We haven't even had our first date yet. She says, do you think I would date somebody I'm not thinking of marrying? I said, uh, uh, two. That was my answer to her strategic question. She said, well, I want five. I said, uh, th that wouldn't work for me. And she said, how about three? I said, I can do that. By the way, we have five kids. <laughs> it's amazing how this young lady at 19 years of age asked a strategic question that really helped to ratchet our relationship up to the next level. My name is Bill Wolfson. I am a professor at Faith Evangelical College and Seminary, and I have the privilege of being the director of our Life Coach Certification major. I think many of you are aware of that, and it's, it's an exciting, exciting time to be a part of Faith Evangelical College and Seminary. Perhaps you've gotten the letter we sent out recently to alumni and current students telling you all about this new opportunity. Now you might say, okay, life coaching, is it even for me? Well, let me ask you a question. How effective are you at asking powerful questions? Hmm? I'm talking about I've created a method called the SIP Q method or SIP the Q. It's in my book that's coming out shortly and that's talking about strategic, intuitive, and probing questions. I have found that pastors, Christian workers, people that really care about other people often become the most effective life coaches. And we call it again, those strategic questions. Can you, can you do that? Do you have deep listening skills? Do people trust you? Well, let me show you how questions can make a real difference in people's lives. You know, when you go to school, when it comes to a teacher, and we love teachers, well, let's face it. If you give the wrong answer on a test, you fail. Whereas, uh, you know, the reality is with life coaching, the answer's in the question. The question is not in the answer. Life coaching is a whole different dynamic. Let me give you another example. Did you know the whole world changed on one question? Uh, when, well, initially, we used to have to go to the water if we wanted to have a drink of water, if we wanted to wash our clothes, whatever other function we needed. You'd have to go to the water. When the question went from rather, how does man get to the water versus how do we get water to man? Well, now we have plumbing. <laughs> now we could have Chicago. People could live in the Midwest. People could live uh, in Montana because now water can come to you. It was a major life-changing effort. Now, is life, is life coaching really for Christians? Is it really for pastors? Is it really for Christian workers? Well, let me tell you how my transition became as a life coach. I'm pastoring a church of 53 different nations. I mean, we have been blessed. We have black, white, red, yellow, brown, and olive skin. I love pastoring. I started life coaching many years ago. Now I was able to not just have people come to the church, I was able to get the church to the people. I had the opportunity to get the gospel out to the marketplace, reaching doctors and lawyers, and now we have all these corporate accounts. Everything changed. And pastor, when you look at the knowledge, student, the understanding, Christian worker, the wisdom that you have, when you apply that to the coaching process, everything changes. It's called the coach approach. It's leading with questions, not answers. The more educated our young people are becoming as they go away to university and come home to our churches, they're saying a lot of us are answering questions that nobody's asking. When we begin to lead with questions, everything changes. Let me give you an example of a question that I use, and it's actually one of the questions called my elevator speech, whereby I've brought many people into the coach approach. I'd ask them this question. If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you be doing differently. Wow! It, it just stirs something up inside of people. And then sometimes there's a lot of silence. And this is part of the coach approach. I let silence do the heavy lifting. Silence. And so I want you to think of this. If you're going to be a coach, there's the text, what people tell you, but there's the subtext of what they really mean. How often have you heard something like this, Pastor? 
you know, we're having problems with our finances, don't have a lot of money, it's a real difficult season. And my wife, you know, she says, we can't be going, we, we can't be out of money. We still have checks in our checkbook, or we're going to pay off our visa with our MasterCard or our American Express. And you say, you know what? You said your problem is money. Tell me a little bit more about your wife. Oh, doctor, pastor, Bill, the issue really is my marriage. And now we get somewhere because we've gotten to the subtext. You know why I'm such a fan of the whole coach approach? I'm a product of the product. I'm a member of the JMT, the John Maxwell team, and a lot of business has come our way, and I really believe it is our father's business. The doors that have opened up with Starbucks and Boeing and Adobe, I mean, it has been an incredible journey. And I love John Maxwell, he's my first coach. I'm a product, like I said, of the product. And yet, as we're going a little bit further, there is a certification uh, process, an organization called ICF, International Coach Federation. Now let me tell you a little bit about ICF. Uh, they are to life coaching what passing the bar exam is to law, except they have three different levels. And this is what we're excited about at Faith Evangelical College and Seminary. All of our classes, all of our coach, coaching classes uh, are in alignment with the International Coach Federation. So you can earn any of the three certifications if that's the direction you choose to go. ICF has something called core competencies. That's where we really learn the coaching agreement. That's where we learn deep listening skills. Go to their website, you'll read all about it. That's where we learn powerful questions. That's where we really learn to create an environment for people to flourish. Well, is coaching really just this Christian thing? Actually, NYU has a coaching certification program. Columbia University has it. Um, oh, Georgetown is also an ICF uh, compliant institution. The neat thing about Faith Evangelical College and Seminary, you can get the exact same certification opportunities and the opportunity to really move into some new realm, still pastor and coach a lot of people and make a difference and it's the same certification, except it's Christ-centered. You know, there is a financial benefit to coaching. I want to be really clear about that. But I don't want you to coach because there's a financial benefit. I want you to coach as a byproduct of the financial benefit. Now, at Faith Seminary, there's three levels to the uh, life coaching certification process. ACC is the first one. It takes about a year. That's the Associate Certified Coach. Now, the next year when you work towards your PCC, and that's your professional certified coach, that's where you can work for different life coaching organizations, corporations, uh, firms, and then the highest level is the MCC, which will not be necessary for most people, but some will choose to go to that extent. But Faith Seminary will offer that. Why ICF? Because frankly, an ICF certification, you're golden. Now, at faith, class, at, faith, at faith Seminary, again, I want to make it really clear, we're offering all three levels. Now, you might say, well, I'm in my undergraduate degree, or I'm in my master's degree, or my doctorate degree. All of our classes are a 7,000 level class. And the way it works with the International Coach Federation, they're interested in you getting X amount of classes for each level. So there is no one class, whether it's undergraduate or doctoral, which is actually a higher end class. They are all necessary to earning your uh, certification, if you will. Now, here's what's really cool. Our coaching certification program over at Faith Seminary, it is tracks accredited. It's accredited by the state. We have all the necessary accreditations like all of our other classes. So on each level, when you get your ACC, you're actually gonna get a life coach certificate not the certification, certificate from faith. And you'll get the same with the PCC and the MCC. You know, here's the key. Life coaching, it gets the church to the marketplace. It raises the level of educated people that are drawn to your church. Life coaching, it's uh, transformational. Now, how is life coaching different than mentoring? Mentoring is a person who's gone before you, who's ahead of you, that's leading you, and that's important. 
How's it different than teaching? A teacher gives you answers, and that's great. How's it different than counseling, therapy, psychiatry? Well, there's a major difference. Think of counseling therapy as, um, oh, an archaeologist. What does an archaeologist do? They have to dig up the past. They look to the past, and that's kind of, and, and what does an architect do? They're building something in the present that you're going to live in in the future. So when it comes to counseling, you know, as an archaeologist, you got to dig up things in a person's past and just try to stabilize them in the present. Usually it's a person having problems. Life coaching is a person that's highly motivated, a person that wants to live their life with the end in mind, a person who really wants someone to ask them the right kind of questions and help me as the coachee to come up with the answers that are so necessary to moving forward. It's like being an architect, if you will. I am so hoping to see you in our life coaching classes coming up this September, January, in March. You know, Faith Seminary has a coach approach recognized system by ICF. And remember, Jesus is still the center. So here's what I'm hoping. As we are life coach together, and as we life coach others together, let's become a product of the product.